One day I want to be a doctor. I want to be a DJ. I want to become a lawyer. I want to be a grammar star because I love acting. I want to study music. When I finish school, I want to study medicine. One day I want to be a lawyer. Sometimes I, I, I just ask myself, what am I giving to these children? Because I, I can't do uh, uh, the best of my ability to them because of the, 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 the facilities and the problem in the school. The poor conditions in, in these schools and in these classrooms make it impossible for any teacher to be effective, and especially in the subjects such as science and maths. The subjects that re require specific and special resources in, or, in order for the teachers to be able to pass on the knowledge that's required in these subjects. I suppose what's different about our new education initiative is you're not just uh, building concrete foundations, but you're really laying a concrete foundation in the future lives for these children. We're working on two classrooms here for the primary school. Um, we've one, one here which we hope to get finished by about Wednesday and then we move over to the second one here. And then a toilet block as well. And these are for kids up to about 11. And then the rest is the high school or the senior school as we would call it at home. Here in Ingendesi, we're constructing all these new extensions, some new blocks. The big block F over here, is a new block of six classrooms. And in the block behind me, we, have, we are renovating three of the old classrooms. We have built two new classrooms. And further down here, as we come down, there's a new kitchen area for the children so that they will be able to prepare their food every day. Beside the kitchen, we have built a permanent structure for the children so that they can eat their meals out of the, the, the glaring sun. And next door, we have one final classroom in this block. It started off very well and it's getting better and better and better. Every time you come out to it, Nile Mellon, they seem to have worked there for everybody to do. And everybody can achieve within a week. And it's an amazing what you do achieve in a short week. It's just amazing to know that you're, you're building something that's long lasting. And, and the kids that are around here, they're going to school um, in another building across the way, is going to benefit from, from educating themselves in here. So it's great. Just as easy as looking at these guys. It's just an opportunity to help a lot of kids. Um, that don't have the same opportunities that we have in the United States. And it's really special. So just getting a chance to do something different and neat and really meaningful. We're all volunteers, we're all equal. We're all trying to do our best for a very worthwhile charity. And uh, he started his schooling at Kuno Junior Secondary, the school you just saw outside the gate.
smooth as a baby's body. Mary, uh, tell me what's the crack? The crack is good, the crack is mighty. It's always fun when there's a good group of Irish people out in South Africa doing a bit of work, having a bit of a laugh. I need, I'm trying to figure out who has the best Rosa Tree wave on site, right? And I've been told that you are very good of arm strength, right? So I'll do mine, and I need you to do yours. <laughs> Look at that arm, arm definition, muscles very good. We'll give you about six points, we'll be back to you. I tell you what, 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 is, what is making me nervous lads is, this is about the sixth time I've seen you walk back and forth with this ladder and, the, and the these tools. Like, the so, so I'm a little bit nervous as to what buildings we've no, been built. Is, no, this is the first time we've actually found a ladder. Where's your glasses? I don't wear the glasses. And your mask? Deny me. But like, you only need a mask if you're using the saw. Jeez, you have an answer for everything. <laughs> so I need you to look right down the camera and say the words Mayo for Sam 2015. I'm very sorry for all my <laughs> Name and shame, we're all about name and shame in here. Robbie Dunn. Robbie Dunn, why? He is about to get a yellow card if he visits medical centre once more. He averages four times a day. How are you doing, Frank? We're actually thinking of demoting Frank this year and cutting off half a star. <laughs> um, so we're actually going to have people on half stars after all the trouble they've caused on this split. But Frank's great. I, I, well, I think you'll be putting me to half a star because I, I may have stirred a few pots. Oh, is it really that bad? Can you We are not only building beautiful schools, we are also going on a journey with these schools for at least two years until we see a pass rate of 75%. We will bring in specialised principals and teachers who work as a team with the school in order to turn these schools around. Mellon Educate is about putting in place the tools that gives the, give these schools a long-term sustainable future. We are equipping these schools with the knowledge and skill set to achieve a pass rate that they never dreamed was possible even 12 months ago. So Mellon Educate we will benefit the, the, the learners at school with the most needed uh, skills for learners to proceed even to higher level of education. If the children are learn in a school where you have facilities that are help with the curriculum, the children will come out here prepared to face the future better than they did uh, in our old school. So they will be uh, better assessed for their uh, communities and even in their future, they will have things that will uh, motivate them to be better people in future. What has been the highlight of the last few days? I suppose just coming here and uh, the visit to the school today to see where the kids are educated at the moment and to see the difference we're making in where they're going to be educated in the future. That's really, you know, that brought it home. Uh, now that uh, you came guys with all this help, we, 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 so, we, we were so positive. And you have to stand in the middle of either a school or an orphanage and see these poor babies and that is what will bring you back out again. Gosh, the kids are amazing, the place is amazing, the people who work with you are amazing. Um, I feel a bit emotional now actually. <laughs>
900 children between this school and the school over the hill have had their lives changed forever in the few short weeks since you became involved and particularly this week. It is impossible to imagine there was nothing here only 10 days ago behind me. And now there are beautiful new classrooms that are going to change the lives of these children forever. very happy and very excited that they built our school. And I feel happy and I thank the Mellon Education for what they are doing for us. We are so thankful to, to Mellon. As you can see behind my back here, there is an emblem for Mellon Education. Now our school will have changed. It has been renamed Mellon Education and they say Junior Secondary School here in Amtata Unu. Oh, Nelson Mandela's place. Uh, we are so grateful, we are so excited, so excited, we are so happy. We can't even sleep at night. You, you'd asked me why I chose Mellon Educate to volunteer for, and uh, it's a hard question. But when you turn around and you look at all these little kids back here, and how much the little bit of work that every volunteer does every day, how it makes a big difference in their lives long term. It's amazing. Five, six, seven days. And the progress that we've made on this site is, is uh, it's wonderful. It's, it's a life-changing experience. And uh, it's very nice to be able to give something back when life is fairly good to you. These people have nothing at all. And this will be the start of something that will make and help change their lives and that their kids' lives. So it's well worthwhile coming out for a week and sacrificing everything. And if you come out here, it really opens your eyes. Do you know, it gets you to see another side of the world. And do you know, it's just complete opposite to what we have at home. So do you know, it'll teach young people if they come. And um, the experience of being here has just been more than I ever imagined. And um, the people I've met, and um, the visits to the townships, um, and everything that it offers, and um, it's just been it's just been fantastic. And something that I hope to continue again in the future. So I hope when you wrap up this video, you will remember how vital you are to everything that we're doing and what a special feeling it is to know that your effort is directly changing the lives of girls like this girl here beside me. So come on board with me as a volunteer, if not on this trip, maybe on the next trip, and help us to complete our new ambitious target to provide education improvements for 100,000 children.